Once upon a time, there was a colorful little train named Apple. This was a very special train because it carried all sorts of new and inventive computers in its cars. It even had the first computer to use a graphical interface instead of just using words. As time went on though, the colorful little train stopped carrying new and cool computers that people wanted, and so the computers started becoming very sad because they were so unpopular. But Apple didn't care because it was happy carrying the computers and hardware that it already had and thought to itself, well, somebody's bound to like them, right? One day, as the colorful steam engine was pulling its load of sad and unpopular computers, it came to a very steep hill. Apple tugged and tugged, chew, chew, but no matter how hard it tried, it couldn't pull the long train of sad computers up the hill. Oh no, what will I do now? Apple puffed. Help! Puff, puff, puff. Apple then sighed. Surely someone could help. Soon, a big blue steam engine came thundering down the track. The engine was very strong. Apple began waving to catch the attention of the powerful engine. The blue engine heard Apple's cry and replied with a long toot, What's the matter, little engine? Apple replied, Will you help me get up the hill with my train of computers? With a burst of steam, the big blue engine roared with laughter. I'm the king of the computer world and have no interest in helping you. Choo, choo, choo! And the big blue engine steamed away. Little Apple waited and waited, but no other trains came along to help. Feeling helpless and unable to get up the hill, little Apple started to cry. Why are you crying, Apple? A voice asked. Apple looked around to see who the voice came from, and he saw a man standing next to him. Who are you? Apple asked. The man replied, My name is Steve, and I helped make you a long time ago. Sniffing, Apple said, I have a train full of computers that I, I need to take to all the people in the world, but I'm not big or strong enough to get over this hill. Oh, Apple, Steve said. You've been strong enough this whole time. I made you that way. You've just forgotten what I taught you long ago. Remember, you have to think different than everyone else. Be creative. Think different and you can get over this hill. Knowing in his heart what Steve said was true, the little train put its head down and focused on the track with no other thought than, I think different. With all its might, Apple pulled and pulled. I think I can. I think I can. Because I think different. As Apple chanted and pulled with all its might, slowly the wheels began to move, and up the hill they all went. I think different! I think I can! I think different! Soon, all the sad computers, seeing that they were moving up the hill, joined in the chant with Apple, and a magical thing happened. As they started chanting and thinking different as well, the old sad computers began to change. They got stronger and faster, easier to use, and they even looked different and new. We think we can. We think different. We know we can. Faster and faster, Apple and all of the computers moved up the hill. As they went, they passed new friends and devices that jumped on board to join along. Apple called out, Hey there, iPod! Grab iTunes and jump on in! Come on, iPhone! Ride along with us! As the colorful engine steamed faster and faster up the hill, a group of fans came to cheer Apple on. We believe in you because you think different! 
Powered by the new creativity, attitude, products, and fans, even Apple began to change. It took on a beautiful, sleek, shiny, smooth look and became faster and stronger than ever. As Apple sped almost effortlessly up the hill, everyone on the track was singing along. We know we can! We think different! We know we can! All the way to the top.